to my channel so today is sunday january 28th and i figured since january is almost over it is a perfect time to do a sunday reset i am starting off this vlog or this video a little bit late right now it is 1 40 p.m y'all i promise i did not just wake up i promise okay i've been up since 10 10 30 a.m and i woke up and went straight to editing y'all so if you haven't seen the new york fashion week vlog make sure y'all go check that out out. Once I woke up, did my hygiene routine, brushed my teeth, washed my face. Um, I fed the guinea pigs. Um, it was way past their feeding time. But yes, y'all, today is pretty much, like the video said, a Sunday reset. I'm just going to be cleaning up. I just love walking to a clean house, a clean room, a clean everything, okay? And last night, we went out. So, of course, that's where I'm starting my morning a little late. But we went out and we had a little you know pre-game or whatever so we need to clean up the house and just get it all together i missed church service this morning so i am gonna be putting that on while i'm cleaning up around the house because we gotta get we gotta get god in our life okay and then um later on i do plan on cooking oh speaking of once again <laughs> oh, i forgot to take the chicken out hey 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 it's not for y'all they do those loud squeaks to say they hungry, but really they not hungry, y'all. Got to take out the chicken, so tonight I plan on making baked chicken, mashed potatoes, and corn. So we're going to do, you know, a cute little Sunday dinner. That's when I'll get into my self-care. I do want to take like a nice little bubble bath, um, do a face mask, you know, just really get in tune with myself and reset. So, so I did change clothes because I just wasn't feeling the oversized shirt, y'all. I wanted to be, you know, in a cute little lounge set over the Ever. Before we get started on this video, you guys, I did want to give a huge shout out to Javi Coffee. They sent me this package, so let's see what's inside. <laughs> on the box, it says Better Coffee Made Easy. So they sent me their original coffee flavor. This is a coffee concentrate with added caffeine, and this is a total of 35 servings, you guys. This one little six ounce bottle. 35 servings okay period and then they also included this recipe book so you know we're gonna try we're gonna try some um recipes up in here they got desserts protein shakes snacks hey javi let's get into it y'all i'm reading the directions and it say i have to add one teaspoon for every six ounce of water or milk of my choice and for stronger coffee to increase it to two teaspoons flavor or sweeten to your preference y'all why can't i that's a little mouthful <laughs> but i can either make it cold or hot i really love that so i'm gonna get this a try and i think i'm gonna try it cold so let's see Mmm, y'all that smells so good oh i love the smell of coffee y'all so i'm gonna do one teaspoon of this so i'm just gonna stir this up it smells so good y'all i am for sure a coffee drinker and this makes coffee so much easier like you just add it to water it's dairy free gluten free sustainably made and yeah so now that i have that stirred up I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my ice cubes. I hate ice cube trays like this, y'all. I can never get them out without dropping blood. Put <laughs> some sugar up in here. Cause I like my sweet, y'all. Don't judge me, okay? But yes, y'all, I think this is perfect for like when you in a rush and you don't have time to wait on your coffee machine, okay? Yep. <laughs> okay, Javi. 
I can't believe this is my first time hearing about them. And then this is their original one, y'all. They have a whole bunch of different flavors that you can try. So if you wanna give this a try, y'all, make sure y'all use my discount code on the screen or in the link down below if you want to get 20% off your first order. But yes, y'all, I know y'all been waiting for me to get into this video, so let's start cleaning. All right. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> I don't even think I've introduced y'all to my guinea pig before. This is Hollow, which is my guinea pig. And then down here is Cider. Y'all can barely see him right now. He got his face full of carrots. But Cider is my roommate's guinea pig. And then Hollow is mine. We got them like the beginning of the school year because we just wanted some type of pets. We couldn't have dogs, we couldn't have cats. And I've been wanting a guinea pig for a while, y'all, believe it or not. So we finally got ours and it's been blessed ever since, y'all. They are really dirty animals, I'm not gonna lie. That's the only downside of them, but other than that, they're super cute, cuddly, they're quiet, not too loud, and I love them, I really do. All right, here, you just gotta take this, okay? We got some cleaning today. <laughs> But she don't love me, she too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown I wanna know what she was so down Will you be my leading lady? I wanna contract that no baby In the meantime In the meantime covers in the dryer and I am washing our little throw blanket and the uh, green pillows pause y'all this is how I know I was working too hard okay because the eyebrows are sweating off <laughs> and I didn't even notice until way later on so. um but right now it is about 4 55 almost 5 o'clock I don't have too much more to do I just have to put the covers back on the couch um mop that shouldn't take me long um, we don't even have that many dishes in here. I feel like for the kitchen part, it's really just me cleaning out the refrigerator, throwing away all, you know, any old stuff, leftovers, or anything like that. So, yes, y'all, we can get together. Um, this shouldn't take me no more than an hour more to do, so let's finish cleaning. <laughs> Baby, I'm up 
myself, I don't know Leave me here, I'll fuck myself Sit me in the mirror, I duck myself Don't need much, so fuck my wealth in the back but it is about six o'clock and your girl is finally done cleaning up the whole house unfortunately i did not get to get to my room y'all and the chicken is still very much frozen so <laughs> um to help it unthaw a little because i wanted to start cooking at about 6 37 and like i said right now it's 6 08 so yes y'all while the chicken is unthawing i'm about to go straighten up my room it's it's looking pretty bad y'all like i'm not gonna lie i'm not even gonna show you guys that process but while i'm cleaning my room i'm also going to be charging my camera because your girl finna die okay um i've been filming all day so it just need a little boost a little charge and i want to make sure it's charged for when i start cooking and everything else that i have planned for this video i'm gonna take about 30 minutes to clean up my room let the chicken unthaw and yeah. real quick though i did want to show you guys a before and after of my room it's it's looking a little crazy y'all to clean off this desk area it's just a lot going on don't mind the tequila y'all <laughs> we had a time last night that's all i had to say um these are all of the shoes that i moved from the living room little area and this is my closet y'all i don't i really want to reorganize the top and then my floor y'all oh my gosh <laughs> it's like slightly embarrassing but this is literally what happens throughout the week like i just try to find outfits and 
it just end up looking like this okay so i'm gonna go ahead straighten up the room i already made my bed this morning y'all saw that but yeah it's not too bad i'm not gonna lie but it's it's a little bad it's a little bad so let me hurry up get this done and then i also wanted to let you guys know that i just placed my instacart order so that should be coming Ooh. late much tiffany <laughs> be here in about an hour hour and a half and then yeah that's when i'll get into the self-care portion of this vlog all right you guys so i'm finally done cleaning up my room i cleaned off my desk area you no know, got the bed made or whatever just kind of straightened up my little stand right here turned on my xoxo sign for the vibes Turn my fan slash light on. Y'all, if y'all want this, let me know. It's in my Amazon storefront in the link below. And I absolutely love it. It's a LED light and a fan in one. And then the fan also turns on too. Like, it's super cute. And yeah, this top one have like three different levels. But I won't show y'all that right now. <laughs> and then the closet. The floor is clean. I just vacuumed. And then I straightened up. The top of my um, shelves and yes y'all it actually wasn't too bad I'm not gonna lie it wasn't too bad I just really have to straighten up and put everything where it was supposed to go but now that I am done with my room um I did go ahead and take the couch covers out of the dryer they smell so good and look clean so I'm about to go ahead and put these on the couch y'all won't believe me when I say it is 7 30 like I don't know how it took me that long hello huh your mama been cleaning all day and you ain't been doing nothing but sitting here like a potato mm-hmm so let me show it off for the camera cute self <laughs> do I have to take the trash out I have a bag over there I'll probably do that after I get done cleaning or whatever but yeah let me go ahead and put these couch covers on the um, sofa into the cooking portion of this video I figured I'd do kind of like a voiceover for you guys so it can give you know tutorial vibes okay so we are gonna start by prepping the chicken you're gonna need three different bowls the first bowl is going to be your flour I don't know about y'all but I do season my flour it just gives it you know a little bit more of a kick and then your second bowl you're gonna put milk one egg and then a squirt of mustard this also gives it you 
you know, a little bit more flavor. And then in the last bowl, I am using the Private Selection Parmesan Herb Breadcrumbs. Whoa, y'all, that was that was a little mouthful. <laughs> of course, you want to rinse your chicken, okay? You don't know what they be putting on it. So after you rinse your chicken, I do not want my chicken breast extra thick. So I do split my chicken breast in half, and now it gives me, you know, more to cook. So I have four different ones, and I don't know about y'all, but I don't really measure as I cook. I just kind of, you know, do it by eye. So if y'all want, like, actual measurements or, like, the list of ingredients and directions, just kind Comment down below and I'll make sure to write that up for you guys but yes y'all once you split your chicken in half you're just going to want to dip it into the flour and then into the milk and eggs and then lastly into the breadcrumbs I like to kind of press the breadcrumbs into place so that you know once I move them to the skillet everything will stick Ironically, my Instacart came as soon as I finished prepping the chicken, so that was perfect timing. So I went on ahead and brought the groceries inside, and now we are going to cook our chicken a little bit before we bake it. You just want to take a skillet and place a drop of olive oil on it, and then place your chicken in the skillet for about five to six minutes on each side or until browned. Of course, while my chicken was cooking, I went on ahead and put up my groceries. This didn't take me long to do y'all of course I love grocery shopping on Sundays because it gives me enough time to really prep my meals for the week and you know it also help your girl save money so once you finish cooking your chicken on both sides you're just going to want to place it on a baking sheet and put it in the oven on 400 degrees for 10 minutes so while that is baking we are going to go ahead and make the corn y'all at the last minute I decided I want some cream corn so I had all the ingredients and why not so you're just going to need a frozen 12 ounce bag of corn some heavy whipping cream sugar butter and of course black pepper for taste I mixed a little bit of flour and milk in a small bowl and added that to the corn so that it can thicken up a little and of course I just put that on medium heat and let that cook for a little bit I put a little bit of parmesan crumbs on the chicken of course this is optional but you know you can never have too much cheese y'all so we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the mashed potatoes y'all don't judge me but I just had these microwave mashed potatoes in the fridge so that's what we're going to use today okay so um of course the chicken was done so I pulled that out and we're just going to fix up these mashed potatoes so I added some milk um butter and then seasonings such as onion powder garlic powder and paprika of course like I said you can never have too much cheese so I added a little bit of cheddar in there stirred it up and y'all I promise it tastes so good so now we are finally done cooking and I'm just going to go ahead and plate everything it's just me and my roommate eating tonight so um yeah y'all I realized as I'm editing this I needed some type of greens on my plate and I literally had some green beans in the freezer but it's all good because everything was delicious I decided to top the chicken off with some parsley flakes and we're all done with Sunday dinner let me know in the comments if you used or plan to use this recipe and yeah I hope y'all enjoy y'all so I'm finally done cooking and it's literally 9 30 <laughs> but it's okay because we just gonna have a late night dinner and y'all know I got my glass of wine um I'm gonna tell my roommate that dinner is ready he had to eat before the food get cold and I'll see y'all in a minute Hey y'all, so I just got done eating. It was so good, y'all, like 10 out of 10. Even my roommate was like, yeah, you did this. <laughs> y'all, I am officially done cleaning and it is literally 10, 20 p.m., y'all. <laughs> but um, now it is finally time for me to wind down. I know y'all can kind of tell I'm a little tired. Not that much, but like, you know, it's most definitely time for me to sit down somewhere and relax. So. 
Um, I am about to run me a bubble bath. Y'all know, get the vibes going. Probably pour me another cup of wine. Um, light a candle and just, you know, really relax. So, I don't know about y'all, but I like my bubble baths hot. Like, really hot. So, I'm about to put on a pot of water on the stove. Um, so that I can add it to my bath water to make it, you know, a little bit hotter. Y'all, I'm ready to chill out, okay? So, let me go ahead and run this bath water. Before I do that, um, I just want to show you guys how I end my self-care Sundays. So, I have this bad baby right here. If you don't know, it's a massage gun. And y'all, every once in a while, you know, I get a little bit tense in the shoulders and legs. So, um, to end my Sundays, definitely after soaking in, you know, like a hot tub, a hot bath, it is like so beneficial to, you know, massage out any little tent spots that you have so um, i have this massage gun i don't even know where i got this from y'all to be honest i stole it from my mom because <laughs> she wasn't using it anyway so but yeah it comes with like four different attachments but i really only use the ball with oh yeah now that i'm done doing that I am pretty much about to wrap up this video, you guys. Like, I had so much fun filming this today. I feel like I haven't filmed a video like this in a little second. But it was a super cool video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. It is literally 11.42, about to be 12 a.m. And I am about to spend about 10 or 20 minutes on my iPad studying for this test tomorrow morning. And then I'm going to call it a night. So thank you so much for watching this video. If y'all want more like this, make sure you comment down below. If you already know the vibe, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.